What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. And before we get started, if you can hit the like button, subscribe, and share. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs by the end of the year. So, Wednesday, the new episode of X Men 97 dropped, and I just want to give my thoughts and review the episode. Um, if you haven't seen it, if you're interested in the series, I do highly recommend it if you like the characters of X Men. If you don't like the characters of X Men, I think it's very solid. Um, everyone's really be seem to be enjoyed it's kind of like a unanimous like yo i recommend this show um and so episode three i will delve into some spoilers because like it's a continuation of episode two it's kind of like is it like each episode is like it's like a continuing story where like things happen and you see the ramification in the next episode you know what i mean um i don't know what happens later in the season are they gonna do because i know uh whenever they revealed the like episode list there is like a part one another episode then a part two i don't know if they're gonna jump between single storytelling or whatever but this episode was very good um the whole so basically what happened at the end of season uh season episode two was um storm got hit with the uh the, the sniper bullet that basically took away her powers or whatever so she left and x-men get a knock on the door and it's a another version of Jean gray and so we pick back up where they, where Beast is doing an analysis on her and talking about how like, oh, this is the real Jean Grey. The Jean Grey that's with us now is actually a clone because their cells are younger. And so she starts to freak out because she's like, how can I be fake if, or how can I be a clone when I have the exact same memories, experiences, and feelings as the real Jean Grey? Grey. Like, y'all have to believe me. And it was very solid, like how they tackled this the way it was where it's like, no one believed her they kind of immediately went for the signs or whatever and she was like storm would have believed me it's like like it kind of reminds me of season i think it was season four spoiler for the flash cw flash season four or whatever the one with savitar um basically how like he made clones to stop zoom right and one of the clones survived and so basically they were living with two versions of the flash and the way he tells the story was like yo i still have the thoughts and memories i still love iris but she loved you and y'all kind of shunned me because i was just a clone that was stuck here so i lost my mind and became the villain it was kind of like that where it was like it's, it's, a, it's a shitty situation because it's you like it kind of goes in the theory of like the swamp man theory of anyone knows what it means it's basically um, I'm finna give cliff notes. I'm, I'm kind of gonna butcher it, but whatever. A guy's walking, gets hit by lightning, gets va vaporized, but then another version of him gets created in the swamp. Like the lightning hits him, he vaporizes, he, it then hits the swamp. Then he rematerializes. He has all the feelings and emotions and memories, but it's two different people type thing. You know what I mean? It's another version. Is that person still the same person? You know what I mean? It's kind of like that, where if you have the thoughts and feelings and emotions, like what makes the person not the real person you know what i mean and so you have it where mr sinister is like manipulating her and she kind of loses her mind and she kind of becomes like a villain or whatever and she go the fight scenes in this episode is fire okay i love it where uh it's like gene gray and mr sinister they make the x mansion to like this haunted house and like each person is seeing their own fears so like morph is seeing uh mr sinister um gambit is seeing like rogue like like you know cheating on him with a magneto type thing or whatever beast was weird it's like this weird animal thing or whatever and it was kind of cool um saying each fear of the x-men is super dope stuff like that even sunspot shows up in this episode again and that was dope um it was like a house of horrors type thing my one gripe with this show so far and they've been so far it's been back to back i hope they don't do this episode four but they give a cool character a, a, a cool ass moment, then they take him out from the show. They did this episode two with Storm. Storm did this fire um, uh, uh, fight scene in episode one where she's making glass in the sand or whatever, making a glass tornado, right? Next episode, they get her the fuck out of there. <laughs> she loses her powers, right? In this one, Bishop, he gets blasted by... Um, they do like this team of move where Cyclops like blast Bishop with uh, his beams and his powers to absorb it and redirect it into like blast stuff like that. So he hits Cyclops with his ultimate blast. He absorbs all of it and then makes his arms just like beams and stuff like that. He's shooting all these demons and stuff like that. And it was super fucking cool. Late in the episode, he has to leave. It's like, God damn, bro. Can we stay with some of the characters that they do cool shit? Like, damn it. Um, and it, it really, it's so cool how they tie everything into like the baby and stuff like that and like it, it 
they follow it's like different routes to the same destination where like you know that oh uh cable is this and a third and why he ends up in the future but the way they get to it is so different where like it it catches you off guard like you you can see the path you're going but you don't know how the path differs until you experience if that makes sense you know what i mean it's kind of like um it's kind of like how mcu did like uh spider-man where it's like okay we're gonna give you this long origin story where it's like okay you got the origin story but you didn't know you was gonna get it through three movies if that makes sense so it kind of it fits in there and it feels well um another thing i wanted to say was yo scott summers is a freak bro it's a clip that everyone's talking about i'm not gonna post because i don't know how disney doing with their x197 i don't need them coming up knocking on my door and beat my ass all right but it's basically um so the new jane gray she calls herself madeline that's because that's what her name is in the comics madeline Pryor, right and so this is at the point where she's like she's full she's turned evil because like mr sinister is manipulating her right and so she tells Scott, like, Scott's trying to get the baby from her, right? And this is the beginning of the X-Mansion. And so, he, uh, he tries to, like, convince, like, yo, like, we can figure this out. Just, like, calm down. This and, third. and she was like, oh, you don't even believe that I'm the real one. Ain't that right? Say my name or whatever. And she's super, like, seductive and, like, sexy and stuff. She has new outfit and all that stuff. This man just moans. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, hey, I ain't know Scott Summers was a freak, you know what I mean? Like, yo, just imagine, just imagine your wife being your best eater for like, after I get married, she started going crazy in the bedroom. F come to find out it's a clone, you know what I mean? Like, damn, like, hold on, I can't have both of it. No, I'm fucking, I'm fucking playing, I'm playing, I'm playing, playing. But like, damn, you know? It was like, I know he was hurt because he was over there, he was over there moaning and groaning, you know what I mean? It was crazy. The fight scene between Madeline and Magneto was off the chain. I love the art style in this in the show. Uh, Morph once again with another amazing cameo, um, a callback from a previous uh, season of X-Men. It was super dope. Uh, uh, it was, I really enjoyed this episode. Kind of feel like they, I wish they would have fleshed out this. I wish this would have been the character arc. I mean, the 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 show arc. They kind of feel like because this is such a bigger deal than like what they kind of did. They kind of rammed it into twenty two minutes, but it was dope. I enjoyed what they did. I mean, if the next um, episodes dealing with like Storm trying to get her powers back, I think that'd be interesting. But I really like how Mister Sinister is like this looming threat and the way they handle him. Because I'm only Mister Sinister I know is from. The Deadpool video game, and that's about it. Like, I don't know much about Mr. Sinister, but this was a fire introduction. So you don't need to know a lot about X-Men characters getting into this. They kind of explain everything to you in the show. And it doesn't like beat you over the head with exposition. So super fucking dope. Um, the Beast is still my favorite character so far. Like the way he talks and when he says lines, it's just... It is very... I just love the way Beast talks. It's just great. Um... But those are my thoughts. Let me know down below if you've seen the new episode of X-Men 97. I'll be in the comments. And I'm out. Peace.